Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am Lucky Wolf and today I'm playing some more VGC Regulation H, the Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Ranked Ladder, and I'm going to be using Hisuian Zoroark. So I figured for my first video of October, why not use one, a ghost type, but two, a ghost type that pranks your opponent. It just feels appropriate. It honestly just feels appropriate. And this was a team built by Jordy. I will have them linked in the description down below. Please make sure to check them out. This was actually the team they used in the Global Challenge. And it's a lot of pieces I'm familiar with, right? You got the Psy Spam, <laughs> as, as as the team name is. You have the Psy Spam mode in the Ndidi and the Arm Rouge. You have the uh, Lily Cole mode in the Lilligan and the Torkoal. You have the Ursaluna, but then, but then, you also have the Hisuian Zoroark to be able to trick your opponent. Um, you can lead something like Ndidi and Zoroark. You can disguise your Zoroark as your Arm Rouge, and then you can just click Helping Hand Terra Normal Choice Specs hyper voice. So I, I think that this team has a lot of really fun parts. I also feel like I haven't used kind of like a um, Psy Spam Trick Room team in a while. Obviously I've used Psy Spam, but I use Espeon Psy Spam. And if you don't mind, I am going to take a minute on stream. I will have my stream linked in the description down below. I went on a bit of a wild run in Master Ball and I actually peaked at number 12 on the ladder using my Espeon team. I was so excited. I was, like, honestly, elated doesn't even cover it. I, that's the highest I've ever been on ladder previously. I think the highest I had been was maybe in the 30s. So being able to use one of my absolute favorite Pokemon of all time and get the highest I've ever been and to do it on stream, it was just, it was such a hype moment. So I, I do want to just take a moment to say that because I'm so excited and, and I am pretty proud as well. I I am definitely pretty proud as well but I think that's pretty much what I wanted to say about the team so so without further ado let's hop into some games wow okay first game okay first game of the day we do have sand as well as the Garganackle and I am scared of the Garganackle specifically because of wide guard. We do have quite a few get wide moves, you know? We, we, we do like to get a little bit wide with this team. Uh, as we do have the expanding force. Yeah, we do have expanding force. We do have aura sphere. Okay, that's really helpful though. We have the expanding force. We also, we have earth power and we have weather ball on the, um, Torkoal. So... I'm a little weak to rock side spam. Like, I'm a little bit worried that they can just rock slide me and then I'm gonna flinch. I still think Indeedee Arm Rouge might just be the best way. Like, I think just hard trick room is the best way to go here. But rock side spam, but rock side spam. They, maybe they fear the wide guard. Maybe I can go Terra Grass as well if need be. I do want to bring my Weather, and I think I bring the Ursaluna here. It's possible Double Intimidate as well from the Salamence and from the Arcanine. So that, sorry. Yeah, yeah. So that is something I want to note as well, but this is a very scary team. This is a really, really scary team. They, the one thing is they do have their own Weather, but they don't have their own Terrain. So there, is, unless, it, I don't even think anything on this team gets manual terrain. So there shouldn't be a terrain war. <laughs> there may, there may very well be a weather war though. They actually go, go, okay. I can live with that, I think. I can live with that, I think. I, I do think I have to go Terra Grass and I am going to, oh. How aggressive do I want to play this? I think I do go follow me Trick Room. I think that there's a world where I press Expanding Force and Trick Room, but if my opponent goes for something like... Oh, that's so cool. Okay. So they, they do have the Mirror Herb, so that means because my Ndidi got a Spadef boost, their Arcanine also gets that Spadef boost. Okay. So I think that there is a world I think that there is a world where I do just click Trick Room. Let me see. I have the paste up. Indeedee's really defensive. I'm I'm gonna play this really aggressive in that case. I'm gonna play this really aggressive in that case. And this could lose me the game on the spot. This is not the safe play. 
This is not the safe play here. That's me going for the Terra, okay. But I'm really physically defensive on this Indeedee, and I know that they are not... I know that they are not banded. At least on the Arcanine. They do click the Rock Slide button. Yeah, we eat with both our Mons. We get our Expanding Force off. Fantastic damage. And... Okay, it's actually Double Rock Slide. Okay. But we take another two. And we get the Trick Room! That's gaming! That right there, that's gaming! Let's go! Okay, that's fantastic. Their leftovers, okay. They were also, their Garganacle is slower. So that's something very important to note. I'm gonna click Psychic here. I'm just gonna click these buttons, perfect. That's why I didn't click the, I, that's why I did not in fact get wide. That's why I didn't get wide, because I thought they would get wide. Bop! Get him. That's Arcanine down. This is probably not two KOs, but I think another Psychic will get him. Get him, Indeedee. Get him, bud! Oh! Oh! Indeedee with the same number of KOs as Armourouge. Let's go. Let's go. So, I do think me playing aggressive really paid off. I'll be honest. Like, I do think me playing aggressive really, really paid off. Okay. These two mons. The game's not over. The, the sand duo is scary, and they haven't Terra'd, and I have Terra'd. I wonder if it's Sash Excadrill. Let me see the team. I could swap out the Indeedee. I could also follow me here. But I think if they pick up KOs, it's only in my favor. Yeah, I think if they pick up KOs, it truly is only in my favor. So, I do- oh! No Terra? Wow, it lived! Oh my gosh. That is four times super effective life orb. Obviously, they do have the, um, they do have the sand boost, but I am very, very impressed. Oh, it's Snarl! Okay, well, they should still pick up one KO here. I think. Raise your hand, chat. Raise your hand! If you, <laughs> I don't even- I am lost for words. Raise your hand if you didn't know that that Pokemon got that move. I did not. I certainly did not. Oh, that's wild. Okay, I'm just gonna follow me here. In that case, um- oh, I can Eruption. Yeah. Yeah, I can Eruption. They are gonna Terra here. Let's see what the Terra is. I'm- I- I'm curious that they didn't Terra last turn, just because they- I revealed I had Aura Sphere. I did reveal the Aura Sphere. I'm just a little bit surprised by that. I have two more turns of Trick Room left. They're not even AV! Tyranitar lived that hit and isn't AV. I know that they were in sand, but oh my gosh. That is the second time on this channel. Goodbye. Um, that is the second time on this channel. In recent videos, I have been impressed by that Tyranitar. What are they running? Oh my gosh. That is actually wild. Okay, I'm just gonna Helping Hand and Eruption. I don't- like, they can get a- they can go for a double, they're gonna cancel though. They could go for a double, and then it's like, okay, then I just click Trick Room, and I, I always attack with my Torkoal, I'll just click, click like Weather Ball or something. Um, I guess they could get a thousand Rock Slide flinches, but they're gonna need to hit a lot of Rock Slides, they're gonna need to get a lot of flinches, and I have a full health Ursa Luna in the back, and they shouldn't be able to KO the Ursa Luna before I KO them. So, that felt pretty sealed. But I am- wow! I have been underestimating- I have- wow words. I have been underestimating Tyranitar 
And it's gonna end here. Mark my words, it ends here, but I'll see you in a game too. Oh. Okay. That's a cool team for my opponent. That's a cool team. We don't see Scissor all that often, and we don't see Toad all that often either. Huh. I really want to bring the Zoroark. I really, really want to bring the Zoroark. I just feel like Trick Room does go a little bit nutty here. I just feel like Trick Room goes a little bit nutty here. I would say what I am worried about is that that is Scarf Annihilate. It could be Scarf Annihilate even with the beat up on the Whimsicott. It could be just be regular Bulk Up Annihilate. But I don't really think you like- if it's- if it's the regular bulk up Annihilate, I don't really think you like bringing Annihilate to the Indie Arm Rouge matchup. I really, really don't. Oh, I really want to bring Zoroark. But if they lead Annihilate, that does feel extraordinarily bad. I do have Shadow Ball, though. I might just go for it. Again, I'm not sure that that is the best play by any means, but it's certainly a play and I've already clicked it. And I've like, I want to show off the Zoroark. This video is about the Zoroark. I, I, in the last game we did the trick room mode, it worked out fairly flawlessly besides me under, <laughs> besides, who I'm not gonna get over that Tyranitar anytime soon. Besides me underestimating the Tyranitar, Okay. I could Shadow Ball. I want a helping hand, but I am going to follow me Shadow Ball. They have nothing that's immune. So I feel okay locking myself into this. This way, it would be kind of funny if it is Gambit, though. If it is Gambit, I should just let it go off into my Zoroark, but again, just not knowing the sets. Not knowing the sets. Not knowing the sets. I'm gonna click these buttons. As much as I want to just go Terra Normal, Scream, I don't think that is the play here, but we'll see. This covers for if they go beat up or something like that as well. Oh, they just... Okay. That's okay, I guess. Oh, okay, perfect. Okay, well, I'm glad I follow Mead in that case. I'm very happy I follow Mead there. Okay. One Mon down. I mean, it's... Wait. It don't, wouldn't- hmm. Hmm. Okay, I mean, I'm always gonna tri click Trick Room here. I'm always gonna click Trick Room here. I could also Terra Grass. I just don't think it's worth it. Yeah, I don't think it's worth it. We are very physically defensive. We only have four Spadef investment and we are full HP. Uh, but we do have the Spadef boost. So that's good, I think. But I'm gonna I'm gonna hit the Politoed here, because I'm not worried about Yep, okay, you have to double, I think. That did no damage. Special attack drop. It is what it is. Surf. Okay. Zorork is gone. Goodbye, buddy. You got one KO though. No one can take that from you. You got one KO. Let's go. Now we got our trick room, and now I think I just bring in my normal armor rouge. Like, not my normal armor rouge, my actual armor rouge. And I just click Expanding Force. I'm gonna tear a grass here. Let me look what they could have. Like, I kind of want a helping hand. But I think also... I'll lose my Spadef boost, but I think keeping Follow Me for later could be huge. Could be really, really big. So I will get my Weather Control here. 
They can swap out their Toad, but nothing really wants to take this damage. So I'll definitely take it here. That is me going for the Terra. I don't expect this to KO or anything, but we'll get good damage. I will say I'm very used to Terra Psychic spec Sylveon damage, and I'm like, oh, we just KO. <laughs> I'm, once you get used to the Sylveon damage, you can't go back, you know? Okay, Wimmy down. They're down to their last two, so we guarantee win the Weather War. They are not Barry either, okay. Torkoal! <laughs> Took a thousand! Buddy! But now I think I can just span my moves. Okay, that's a Volcarona. I think I can spam my moves. I, it gets a little bit scary if they do set up on me. But I think I just kind of go for damage here. I think I can just go for damage. They are gonna Terra. Is this Terra Water? It could also be Terra Fire. Both are not ideal. Could be Terra Dragon as well. It's Terra Fire, okay. It doesn't resist my... Um, it doesn't resist my Armor Rouge. Which I will absolutely take. Whoa. Was that a crit? Don't mess with Torkoal. Don't do it. <laughs> Don't mess with Torkoal. Yo, let's go. Okay. It's game two. <laughs> That's a game two in the books. Torkoal. I'm sorry. I'm so surprised. That is a resisted hit. That was resisted. But we got him. Okay. Yeah, that kind of, I assume, is how the team is really supposed to function. You can, you pretend your Hisuian Zoroark is your Armor Rouge. They tried to click a move. We just clicked Follow Me. We picked up a KO. Then they brought in a Mon that didn't have enough damage to KO my Ndidi. So on their Tailwind, we set up the Trick Room, and then we brought in our Sweepers, and that was it. Like, I think, if anything, I do think they brought the right Pokemon. Like, I think, if anything, they're... Moth? If they had their weather control and their moth, but that would actually, if, if they had weather control, it would actually be better because weather ball is such a cool move, right? So if they went Terra Fire and I click weather ball and it's in the rain, it's actually a super effective water type move. So I don't even think that that helps them. I do think their moth was their best bet. And I, I do kind of think they should have let it. If I were my opponent, I would have led moth into this. Like if we look we have, especially if they have um, Quiver Dance, like we have one, two, three, four, five. We have five special attackers, one physical attacker. So you can set up Quiver Dance kind of in my face and then hope to out bulk my damage that way. Like it's still gonna be tough. It's still gonna be tough, but I do think they brought the right Mons. We were just able to run over them with Trick Room. <laughs> so let's jump into a third game for today. Ooh, really cool team. Y'all know I am a Fue Coco enjoyer. So to see Skeledurge does make me quite happy. <sighs> okay. Mm. They have two dark types. This is actually the second in the in the first game, we also saw the Arcanine Gastrodon and Tyranitar Core. So this is very interesting. We do have the fighting move, so I'm still very tempted to bring the Armor Rouge, I'll be honest, even though <laughs> I was caught very off guard. Um, but I do think... What do I think? I like Trick Room stuff, so I do think I can maybe go Zoroark here, to be honest. Again, they don't have their own terrain. I can also maybe go, like, Lilligant Torkoal in the back. I haven't shown off the Lilligant mode yet. I think I'm gonna do this because I think it's fun. And what is the last? I guess I'll do this. This is, like, actually- this is actually scary. This is- this is- my opponent has a really cool team. This is scary. I'm really curious to see what, what what they do lead here. And as I was saying, I am a Flay Coco enjoyer. You can see Flay Coco in my little profile picture. Oh, they went double dark. 
Oh, they went double dark. Okay. Is it worth clicking Trick Room? I think it probably is. I don't want to Terra, though. That's my issue. I really don't want to Terra. I could click Focus Blast. I really, really could, but I'm not going to. I'm like Hyper Voice and Trick Room here. This this one's scary though. This one's definitely scary. We do, like I pointed out in the last game, we do have five physical. Sorry, the opposite of that. We have five special attackers, so we do get really stalled out. We do get really, really stalled out by um, things like Light Screen. I actually didn't bring my physical attacker here, and I probably should have. Okay, we flinched. We didn't flinch in that other game. We didn't flinch in that other game, so I feel it's only fair. Like, we've been hit by three rock slides, and we only flinched one time. I'll take it. I'll take it. But I'm hoping I can have enough chip damage. I can have enough chip damage to where I can K where I can actually KO with the Armor Rouge. That would be pretty good. The flinch is probably gonna cost us the game, but like I said, I didn't flinch in that first game, you know. There's 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 only so much RNG that you can ask for, I think. Okay, they do a Thunder Wave, but it's in pri it's in terrain, so there's no priority here. A little bit more chip damage comes out. Rock slide again. Okay, buddy, indeedy. Indeedy. You don't flinch twice, though, right, bud? You don't flinch twice, though, right, bud? Okay. I'm gonna go helping hand. No, I actually think I clicked Terra Grass or a Sphere and swap in my Torkoal. I think that has to be the play, but this is pretty rough. This is definitely pretty rough here. I will take away your defense boost, so your spe special defense boost, but you still have your light screen up, so I don't think that this is gonna KO. Maybe I should have locked myself into the um, inaccurate fighting move. <laughs> Maybe I should have done it. Maybe I really, really should have done it to him. Or trick. Wait, actually? I think tricking specs onto the Tyranitar maybe was the play. Ooh, that would have been spicy. I don't think- I, I didn't think- I didn't think that one through. I think the trick would have been really, really spicy. Boom. I love Torkoal's noise. <laughs> Cute. That's me, okay. That's a good start. That, in fact, is me. Reflect, okay. Let's see what they go for. Bah! Yeah, that's wild. That is living! <laughs> that mod is living! Okay, connect both rock slides, but that's fine. I think I can probably just click Eruption, and it KOs. I really want to click Expanding Force. This might be a- such a huge throw. I'll click Weather Ball into the Tyranitar, because I believe it will pick up from here. Like, they may- if they want to swap out, then I catch them with an Expanding. Okay, they don't want to swap out, and I clicked Expanding into two Dark Types. That is less good. That is less good. player off. Okay. That, that does do good damage. So I could have simply not taken that damage for sure. The 
see what they bring in here. Yeah, I needed a little bit of extra chip damage, I think. I just needed a little bit of extra chip damage. Trick room two more turns, okay. The Gastrodon should underspeed. My Armor Rouge here. And I only have an Aditi in the back, so I don't think I can win this. I don't think I can win this. I, I wonder if it came down to my expanding force turn. It might have. It really might have, but I think I just chose to do the wrong thing with the Zorork in the beginning. I definitely chose to do the wrong thing with the Zorork in the beginning. Okay, you have Ice Beam. Yeah, I don't think an Indeedee a- well, yeah, I don't think an Indeedee and a heavily damaged Torkoal can do this, but let's see. I, I did have to rip the Terra. I had to rip the Terra there. But I needed just a little bit more chip damage, I think, on the Tyranitar. But like I had mentioned, this is one of the things with having a team with five special mons. Like, you're just- you are gonna get a little bit stalled by things like light screen. Like, it is gonna happen. They're probably Terra Grass. They are probably Terra Grass. I am gonna click the Earth Power, though, here. And I could go for a Fire move. I could make a call and go for a Fire move. I just don't think that's the right... Maybe it is the right call. Like, I'm already in a bad spot, but I don't think... A, a half damage Torkoal and a Indeedee with, like, 30% health, I don't think can outbulk these two Mons. I just don't think that they can outbulk these two Mons here. Let's see what they go for. Oh. I actually really did not expect the Fire Terra. Huh. I, maybe I'm just, like, used to seeing grass or, um... Oh my gosh, I did one. <laughs> okay, it doesn't matter. Okay, it doesn't matter. Yeah, I think this, this game really, really goes to show. So, um, you know, if you have a team that is largely physical based mons or largely special based mons you can definitely get stalled out by um things like intimidate things like snarl things like light screen or um reflect so that's always just a good thing to point out like in the team building process right but really well played to my opponent i'm really happy that they brought the skeledurge as well and this video has been really really short so i'll catch you in a fourth game for today oh wow Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> this is a very aggressive team for my opponent. Okay. I'm very worried about this. Hmm. What... What approach do I like here? They have double dark types, so like, Ndidi Armor Rouge doesn't even feel particularly good. Zorg also is weak to the dark type, so that's suspect. I definitely need my weather here. I definitely need my weather. Like, I think if I can get Trick Room, I need to try to run through them with Trick Room. Absolutely need to do that. Let me check our Terra on the Ndidi as well. We are Grass Terra. Okay. That may change things. Both of these Mons are actually Grass Terra. Okay. Do I go no Armor Rouge here? Like, I, I wonder if I can sweep through them with something like this. I don't know. Leaving Armor Rouge doesn't feel particularly good. Like, I do have the fighting move. I actually have clicked the fighting move way more than I thought I would. It has let me down both times, but I clicked it. I did click it. And I don't think King Gambit can live a Aura Sphere. So maybe I should have done that. They actually just leave double dark type. Okay. I did this wrong. No, I did this wrong. 
That's so funny. <laughs> no! I knew I was gonna mess it up once. I knew I was gonna mess it up once. I have to go- I have to go Terra Grass. I have to Trick Room. I could Trick. Specs on to... I'm not, I think I just want damage. I think I'd rather just get damage here. I cannot believe I did that wrong. But they probably expect to protect for my Ursa Luna to get the burn chip. <laughs> Look away. Look away. Oh, thank you, camera. The, yo, this camera angle has my- Oh, no, it's back. I was gonna say that camera angle has my back for, um, <laughs> for messing up for messing that up. Oh, I can't believe it. Okay, you actually swapped that. Okay. What's coming in? Oh, it's Pelly P. Oh, I'll take some free damage on a little Pelly P. Oh, I'll take free damage on a Pelly P. Okay. That is not what I expect them to do, turn one. If Because for me, it feels like they have two free attacks. Like, maybe I'm wrong, but it feels like they have two free attacks there. Okay, that's a great damage. Hey, any chip damage in this game is going to matter. How aggressive do I want to play this here? Yeah, I think I do this. I think I do this. I think I want to save my... I think I want to save my, um... Zoroark for when we're out of Trick Room. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. They do reveal the Wide Guard, which is very important to note here. They kowtow again. I just click Psychic, Weather Bowl. Here. This feels decently safe. If they pick up a KO, then I get my Ursa Luna in. And they, we still have quite a few Trick Room turns for them to contend with. They cannot Sucker Punch me here, either. They could definitely swap in their... Dark type on my Psychic move. Okay, they do, probably. Okay, I should have gone for Eruption. Oh, but they let me have this Weather Ball. Okay, that's fantastic then. Okay, that's a, that's a big threat down. It's a very, very big threat down. Psychic into nothing, okay. Okay, here I click follow me. And I have to get in my Ursaluna. I think that's my only hope, and then I can start going for facades and start going for um moves. Yeah, I think I think that this is my only hope. But they definitely have a lot of resistances for what I want to be going for. Hard swap. So we get to see the last Mon, which is already fantastic. It's Bridge. Okay, I am absolutely fine with that. And they Snarl. Okay. That didn't KO the Ndidi, though. Oh my gosh, that's so bad. That is so bad. But I think here... I think here, let me see how many turns of Trick Room I have left. 
Only one? Okay, this should be a double protect then. Was that me? I don't think it was me. I don't think it was me. I was gonna say, it depends if they have Protect. They have Snarl? Hmm, so I'm trying to think. I, I think in that spot, I was gonna say I Facade? Like, I mean, I'll take the win. <laughs> I mean, I'll take the win. But I was gonna say, in that, I think I Facade and Follow Me. And then, if they, they can Protect if they want to, but then I still have Follow Me. And then I click Facade again, and then I get to bring in my Fast Mon, and then I get to outspeed everything, and we know that they have Wide Guard, so I just click Specs Shadow Ball, and I just keep- and then I- so I just click Specs Shadow Ball, and I click, um, and I probably swap in my Torkoal so they can't Weather Ball me. Yeah, okay, I- I think- I- because I kept all my pieces alive. I kept all my pieces alive, so I do think I definitely had a path to victory. Whether that was on purpose or not, I'm gonna assume it was not. Whether that was on purpose or not, I, um, I still- I definitely still think I had a path to victory. I still think my opponent had a path to victory as well, but it's really good knowing I can swap in my weather, plus they can't electroshot my bear because I'm a ground type. So, I- that- that one felt- it was- like, the end game was gonna be rocky, but that one definitely felt okay. That one definitely, definitely felt okay. Um, it's definitely hard to play out of the Weather War, but taking their King Gambit and taking so much damage on their Pelipper, breaking potential Sash on the Pelipper, I think it really set me up for the end game. But I am gonna call it there four games, I am gonna call it there, so I will see you in the Rental Code area. I think I at least- at least one time successfully got to prank my opponent with the Zoroark. Um, I did bring it to a couple of the games. Super, super fun to use. I really wish I could have clicked Helping Hand, Choice Specs, Terra Normal, Hyper Voice in one of the voices- uh, one of the voices- in one of the games just to show off how much of a delete button it can be. But once again, a super fun team by Jordy. I've linked them in the description down below, so please make sure to check that out. I hope everybody is having a fantastic day, but that's gonna be it for me. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate that. If you did enjoy this content at any time, please feel free to leave a like, comment, or subscribe. If not, don't you exactly know that. And I hope everybody has an absolutely amazing day. Okay, so that's gonna be it for me.